With over 40 years of experience, Arctic knows how to engineer and design a walk-in cooler and freezer to meet your project-specific requirements. This tutorial is intended to provide basic guidelines for receiving, unpacking, and assembling your Arctic walk-in. Prior to assembling your walk-in, please refer to the Arctic Walk-In Installation and Operation Manual for complete details and important information regarding the installation of your Arctic walk-in. Arctic walk-ins are professionally packaged and palletized at the factory in an effort to reduce the chance of freight damage. Unfortunately, on occasion, shipping damage does occur. If there is visible damage to your shipment, do the following when receiving. Inspect your shipment thoroughly. Take a lot of photos in the truck while being unloaded and once on the ground. Document any visible damages on the bill of lading. Mark the bill of lading as damaged. Have the driver sign the bill of lading after you note damaged. Retain a copy or photo of the bill of lading. Contact your Arctic representative immediately. Do not note the number of damaged panels or specifics in the bill of lading as there could be additional hidden damage. Every shipment is clearly marked with the job number and number of pallets included. The job number is also written on the side of the walk-in panels for reference. Locate the parts box in the contents of the shipment. Inside, you will find the packing list, layout drawings, the assembly wrench, and other installation hardware. Review the packing list and thoroughly inspect all contents of the shipment. Carefully unpack the walk-in. Always wear protective gear when handling walk-in panels and walk-in parts. Large panels should be moved using the appropriate handling equipment. Follow handling instructions described in the Installation and Operation Manual to avoid damages and to prevent injuries when handling panels over 14 feet long. Report any shortages or concealed damages to your Arctic representative. Look at the layout drawing found in the parts box to familiarize yourself with the layout of your walk-in and use it throughout the installation process. For your convenience, all panels have been marked at the factory with a part number using a sticker or a number written on the side of the panel. This allows you to identify the location of each panel in the walk-ins layout shown on the layout drawings. In order to have an efficient and safe installation, it is important to make sure your installation area is clean and free of debris. The first step in a successful walk-in installation is making sure that you have a flat, level surface to install your walk-in. If your floor is not level, the door may not function properly and the panels may not seal properly. All walk-ins installed next to adjacent walls must have a minimum of 2-inch clearance in between the walk-in panels and the existing building walls in order to allow proper air circulation. Start by laying down the walk-in's rear floor panel. Lay down the rest of the floor panels following the layout drawings. Lock the first two panels together with the hex wrench provided, making sure panel edges are flush against each other. Repeat until all floor panels are securely locked together. Make sure the floor assembly is level, front to back and left to right. If not, using shims under the floor panels is suggested to level the walk-in floor. Do not install your walls until you have checked that the floor assembly is completely level. For walk-ins without a floor, the installation process starts with laying down the vinyl screed or metal alignment track. A flat level floor is critical for a successful installation. Perimeter chalk lines will ensure that the walk-in is installed square. For detailed instructions on vinyl screed and metal alignment track installation for floorless walk-ins, please refer to the installation and operation manual. Begin with a rear corner or the least accessible corner. Lock the panel to the floor, making sure it is flush and aligned with the floor panel on the outside. Choose the next adjacent wall panel following the layout of your layout drawings. Before locking the panels, always make sure they are flush at the top, flush along their seam and with the floor panel. Lock the wall panels together and then lock them to the floor as you go. 
Check for alignment one more time to make sure the panels are flush with the floor edges, corners, and other walls as you proceed. Work your way in both directions around the perimeter of the walk-in. Arctic door panels are shipped with a metal band strapping the door jams. On walk-ins without a floor or with an interior access ramp, cut the shipping metal band with a pair of metal snips. On walk-ins with a floor and no interior access ramp, the threshold is shipped with the door panel. Do not cut the metal bands. When installing the door panel, do not remove the door from the door frame. Keep the door locked in the frame until all walls are locked in position to prevent injury or damage to the panel. To install the door panel, follow the same instructions that are used to install any wall panel. The door panel must be level and plumb before locking in position. Ensure it is flush at the top with all adjacent wall panels. If the door panel includes a threshold, do not anchor the door threshold yet. For ceiling panels with a clear span of 14 feet or more, ceiling support brackets may be supplied. Refer to the installation and operation manual for details about installation of ceiling supports for large ceiling walk-in panels. Select the walk-in's rear ceiling panel from the layout drawings and securely place it on top of the walk-in, making sure it is supported by the side and back walls. Ensure that it sits properly on the tongue and groove rails and that it is flush with the corners and walls on the outside. Proceed in a similar fashion with the next adjacent ceiling panels. In larger walk-ins with sides 10 feet or longer, it may be appropriate to lock your ceiling panels as you go. Lock every ceiling panel to the previous one and then lock it to the walls while ensuring that all seams and joints are flush. On smaller walk-ins, all ceiling panels can be laid out and locked together first. Once the whole ceiling assembly is flush with the walls and corners, proceed to lock the ceiling panels to the walls. Secure the threshold by screwing the provided self-drilling metal screws into the floor panel. For walk-in freezers, be careful when installing the threshold to prevent damaging the heater wire that runs underneath the threshold. Inspect your walk-in one last time. The seams in between the panels should be tight. Check the door for correct operation. Open your door less than 90 degrees and let it close by itself. Make sure it closes easily and makes a good seal with the frame. Remove any plastic protective film from the surface of your walk-in panels before use. Remove the tape protecting the door gasket. Install the provided cam lock access hole plugs. Important wiring documentation for the walk-in is attached to the inside of the door panel. The model and serial number of every Arctic walk-in is stamped onto the manufacturer's data tag, which is located on the inside of the door frame. For walk-ins located outside and exposed to the elements, an outdoor package should be installed to provide adequate protection. Arctic provided outdoor package includes a roof membrane, a door drip channel, and installation hardware. For detailed instructions on how to install an outdoor package, refer to the installation and operation manual. It is required that all electrical and refrigeration installations on your walk-in are performed by qualified, licensed electrical and refrigeration contractors. Keep all refrigeration and electrical installation and startup records. Refrigeration equipment specifications, refrigeration equipment installation and operation manuals, and wiring diagrams are available upon request. Please contact your Arctic representative or reach out to our support team at support at arcticwalkins.com. Thank you for choosing Arctic Walk-Ins for your cold storage needs. We look forward to serving you for many years to come. Our team of professionals is committed to excellence. Please reach out to an Arctic representative at support at arcticwalkins.com or visit our website at www.arcticwalkins.com.